First of all, you have to choose model. After opening models list, you can search for realistic ones. There are plenty of realistic models available. In this case, I'll use Epic Realism model. There is also optional tool you can use, Laura. You can also search for realistic ones and choose one if you need it. Image quality must be ultra high and aspect ratio can be whatever you want. Here is negative prompt area. You can see auto-generated negative prompt and also you can add things you want to exclude from your image. VAE can be whatever you want. You can try different color schemes and see which one is better. You can try different sampling methods, but Euler, Euler A, or Hewn are really good for creating realistic images. In this case, I recommend to set sampling steps value to 30 or higher and CFG scale to value between 5 and 10. In advanced repair section, you can choose upscaling method for your images. Character repair tool tries to improve selected parts of the images and face restoration makes faces clearer and more recognizable. Here is my prompt. Here is one of four images I generated and the face isn't clear enough. So I'll use creative upscale that allows you to simultaneously upscale and generate some more details. Now I'll add words mid shot to my prompt. And I'll use clear VAE for example. The closer the face to the camera, the clearer it is. In this case, creative upscale isn't needed. I'll change my sampling method to Hune and choose one of these upscalers. I have a video about all of them. You should know that if you use any of advanced repair tools, every generation will cost more. I'll enable hand repairing option without additional prompts. And face restoration. Estimated cost has increased even more. After generation, I received image with almost perfect hands and face, and it's already upscaled. Thanks for watching. Check out my other CRD AI tutorials.